Hey guys, welcome to a special England video today. Um, obviously, Gareth Southgate has literally just posted, or well, England has just announced their 26 man squad for the uh, World Cup. So, we're just going to go through the players first and then I'll give my opinions on each and every one as we go through. So, obviously, you start with the goalkeepers um, Jordan Pickford, Nick Pope, and Aaron Ramsdale. Pretty standard. I think they're probably the best three English goalkeepers yeah. in existence right now. I'm um, super happy for Aaron Ramsdale. I think he's absolutely deserving of, of a place in this squad. And um, whether he'll get much game time, it's doubtful. I mean, it depends on, um, on how Jordan Pickford does. Cause I think Pickford is going to be the number one. So he'll probably start most of the games. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy for Aaron Ramsdale. And Nick Post's been doing brilliantly as well. So fair play to all three of them. Uh, going to the defenders, which is probably the most controversial position, I think, because obviously Southgate was a defender and he loves his right backs, as we all know. And I think, um, yeah, we're just going to go straight into it. So obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold's in there. Okay, kind of Cody made it, which is um, slightly interesting. Eric Dyer, uh, Harry Maguire, uh, Luke Shaw, I guess. John Stones, Kieran Trippier, which is. Very cool. Um, Kyle Walker and Ben White. I didn't actually think Ben White was going to make the squad. Absolutely buzzing for him. Uh, absolutely, again, like Ramsdale, all the Arsenal players that get called up for their national teams absolutely deserve it. Um, whether Ben will play as a right back or a centre back or whether he'll play at all uh, remains to be seen. I think Trent Alexander Arnold is probably his starting right back. Um, but Trippier and Ben White can offer different things. So. Um, that's cool. Harry Maguire, Eric Dyer, and Conor Cody. Centre back wise, a bit meh to me. Um, I think Ben White could be a decent centre back option if um, Gareth decides to play him there. <clears throat> and then we'll go straight to the midfielders. Jude Bellingham, massive, massive um, call out for him. Um, he's been doing really well. Obviously, he's going to make a really big move at some point soon. So, um, credit to him. Well done. Um, Conor Gallagher. I mean, he was doing brilliantly for Crystal Palace, but he's been pretty poor for Chelsea since he's been back. And um, does he deserve a spot? I'll leave that for debate. Jordan Henderson, I mean, <clears throat> I think he's still um, captain. So uh, well, I think, uh, I can't remember who's coming for England squad, to be honest. But Jordan Henderson, I mean, okay, fair enough for your experiences there, but um, I don't expect him to play each and every single game. Uh, Mason Mount, again. Chelsea have been doing pretty poor, so and he's been part of that. But, you know, I think he's one of the players that Gareth Southfield likes. And then Calvin Phillips and Declan Rice. Declan Rice absolutely deserves a spot in this English. English uh, he's probably the best English midfielder we have right now. Um, Duke Bellingham is not far behind him as well. Um, again, Mason Mount's questionable. Conor Gallagher is very questionable. John Henderson, I mean... His experience would be invaluable, I think. But whether he can play each and every single game remains to be seen. And uh, they're going through the forwards. Um, fair amount of forwards as well. Uh, Phil Foden, standard. Jack Grealish. Uh, Harry Kane, obviously. I mean, he's not been prolific this season. But obviously, it's Harry Kane. Gareth Southgate loves him. Couldn't really drop Harry Kane, to be honest with you. No matter how bad he's doing with his club. Uh, James Madison, again... He's doing brilliantly with Leicester right now, so he absolutely deserves his call up as well. Marcus Rashford, I mean, <clears throat> he's had a really good game against Arsenal a few months back. Hasn't really been doing much else since, but fair play. I mean, he can play on the left, so his versatility probably um, comes into question here. And then Bukayo Saka, absolutely brilliant. Got him on the back of my shirt. Um, absolutely buzzing for the kid. Um, hopefully, um, he gets a lot of game time. I think he should start most of these games. Um, <clears throat> but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Raheem Sterling and Callum Wilson making up the last forward. So Callum Wilson's big. Um, he's been brilliant for Newcastle um, and absolutely deserves, I think, his call-up. Um, there is a question mark whether he would actually be called up or not, but um, I kind of like it, to be honest with you. Um, like, I mean, you can make a shout for... A whole bunch of players, especially in the defence, um, you know, but um, I think, I mean, the squad's decent as it is. I mean, there's a, a fair amount of young talent in there, plus experience. Um, for me, I'm just happy with all the Arsenal players involved. 
in the spine of the team as well. Um, you know, Aaron Ramsdale is a brilliant goalkeeper. He's got to joint top you know, um, clean sheets in the league so far. We're top of the league as well. Ben White has been a big part of that as well. And then obviously Bakayo Saka is arguably one of the best young players in the world. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good cool from a national perspective. Um, I mean... I mean, I think Smith Rowe would have made the squad if he hadn't been so injury prone this season. I mean, he's been out for quite a while now, a few months at least. I think he's most of the season actually, thinking of it. Um, but um, decent squad. There are question marks, like I said. Conor Gallagher, I'm questioning. Um, Jack Grealish, I'm questioning. Max Rashford, I'm questioning. Uh, Raheem Sterling hasn't been great since going to Chelsea. Uh, but he seems to perform with England, England so no, um, I kind of understand why Southgate's um, picked him. Um, yeah, the goalkeepers, you know, speak for themselves. The, the defence as well is pretty all right. Um, Trent's not been doing brilliantly. Connor Cody, like, I don't know, I'll question him whether he's actually going to get game time. Eric Dyer and Harry Maguire as a centre-back, so, like, I, mean, I think we could have found some... More people, but how many people are going to find um, a lot more glaring issues with this? I mean, I think every squad, every World Cup squad and every nation is going to get question marks and you're not going to please everyone. Um, <clears throat> I think Callum Wilson, um, James Madison, Ben White um, and Jude Bellingham, I think will please a lot more people than it will annoy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm all right with the squads. Do I think the squad's capable of winning the World Cup? No. But I think it can definitely get us quite close. I'm expecting a semi-final finish for England. Anything less than that is a failure. Um, even not getting to a final, really, could be seen as a failure. I mean, uh, you know, England were in the Euros final. Do you think if you're in the Euros final, you should be in the World Cup final? But we'll have to wait and see. Um... Especially with this um, group that they've got, obviously Wales, um, USA, and uh, I forgot the other players. Is it Iran? I think it's Iran. Anyway, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a tough squad. Like, Wales is not going to be a pushover. USA, while I don't think they'll leave the group, um, they're still going to be a tough opponent, young players, fast. But I think the experience of England is going to tell. Um, I, mean, I expect Harry Kane, Sterling, um, especially to step up now. Uh, you're playing for England in the World Cup, step up now. You've been pretty poor going into in, in your league's performances, but they do pretty well with the England team. So, um, yeah, so overall, I, I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Um, do I think there should be other players? Yeah, I'm not going to go through loads of players that... English should have called up instead because it's just a moot point now. Um, I think it's a decent squad, but I don't think it's a World Cup winning squad. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, it's a squad in total, barring any late um, injuries, because obviously we do have one more Premier League game to play in, at the weekend. And um, hopefully everyone gets out of that injury free and we go into the World Cup in like 10 days time so yeah let me know what you think in the comments let me know whether there's players that who should be called in that hasn't been um i'm not gonna list them but if you want to listen we'll talk about it in the comments so uh yeah i'm pretty right with it like i said and um we'll just have to wait and see i will uh, be doing videos on post game videos um, reviews should i say uh for the games in the world cup for england so stay tuned for that and um yeah let me know in the comments and uh We'll talk about it there, so take it easy guys and I'll see you guys soon.